On other matters, you've yes. had a very, very busy weekend catching up with... Well, we adore this woman, don't we? She is Australia's absolutely... Well, she's Australia's sweetheart. I always call her the most, the most, the most popular Australian on the planet and uh, nothing much has changed uh, my mind about that over the years. Mm. Yeah, a, a whirlwind trip to uh, sunny California to spend a couple of hours with Olivia Newton-John at home, at her beautiful home, just a few hours north of Los Angeles, magnificent wine country there. Now, as we all know, Livy is battling stage four breast cancer, but as you will see for yourself, she is doing remarkably well. She's looking fantastic and is in fine spirits. She's preparing to auction off some of her most treasured possessions, including some very iconic memorabilia from Greece, amongst others, all for a very good cause, as you would expect. So come with me for a catch-up with Olivia. Olivia Newton-John, oh my god. Welcome, goodness. welcome, Richard, how are you? Mm, I'm Good to see you. Lovely to see you. So it's lovely to be here. Thank you. You're, you're selling stuff. I am selling stuff. I'm selling these two pieces. Oh my goodness. Particularly for my Cancer Wellness Research Centre in Melbourne. <laughs> This is the jacket. This I, is I the really jacket that I wore in the movie and the pants. You're serious? Serious. It's not like a, you know, version two no, or three. No, it's them. It's the real deal. I mean, us normal people have a garage <laughs> sale. <laughs> The, yeah, this is, is a grand scale garage sale, Is this, right? this, is this <laughs> Olivia Newton-John's version of a garage that's sale? That's it. That's it, yes. When I tell people I'm flying to LA to speak to Olivia Newton-John, everyone wants to know how she did. She's doing fantastically. Thank you. Really, really well. I mean, in a, a medical sense, my markers are going down. And in a me sense, I am feeling great. I feel strong. I'm walking around like I never was before for a long time. And I feel really good. So it's, things are better. Much better. Yeah, fantastic. I remember seeing you when you were shooting the Hoax movie in St Kilda. They weren't great days. That might have been my worst day of pain. Um, we, I ended up in hospital that night because I, I could hardly walk because my, my hip, I thought, my lower back were hurting so much. Um, and, but that's when I ended up in the ONJ that night with a broken sacrum, a fractured sacrum. So how do you, how do you even contemplate that, you know, ending up in the hospital that bears your name? I know. You know what, Richard? It was a gift, which sounds very strange, I, I would think, to you maybe. But to be able to heal in my own cancer wellness center that it has been my dream to help, to help raise money to build, and for the things that were important to me, for me to be using them, the wellness programs, the incredible doctors and researchers who are working with me, I mean, it was such a gift to me. The fight continues. I mean, you need more money. But, I mean, Greece is now part of folklore history, the, these things you're auctioning off are going to go for squillions. Is this about Olivia, you know, just getting back to basics and just being yeah, you? Yeah, simplifying, simplifying life. I think when you go through a life-changing thing, like last year when I was in the hospital and wasn't sure if I was going to be able to walk properly again and all these things, you really get to focus on what's important. And the message that kept coming through to me was simplify, simplify your life. So that's what we're doing and it's wonderful. If, if you're a billionaire and you have a granddaughter that loved Greece. This is the one that you want. Excuse it's the, the pun. It's the one that, <laughs> the one that you want. You don't ever need to do anything ever again because you've done it all. What is left to do? Live. <laughs> <laughs> Live without working. Um, no, there's lots to do. I mean, I, John and I have a mission. We want to um, teach people the, the healthy aspects of cannabis and how important it is for our bodies and the healing the healing it can do. I'm working with the hospital to fundraise for um, the wellness and research. <laughs> We're doing our first walk in Melbourne in the Alexandra Gardens this year, which is the first time we've been in the city, so I'm really excited, October 6th. And I'm going to be walking it this year. I can walk it this year. Last year I, I kind of faked it because I couldn't really walk, but um, this year I can. So I'm really happy, looking forward to it. And Chloe's coming with me. Even better. This is um, quite a pad. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's really beautiful. It's We're remote. so lucky to find it. It's remote, which is great. Yeah. 
Cause, well, you uh, can't walk out the front door without being, you know, early yeah, in Newton well, Shop. Yeah, it would be hard to be in a city, but I don't really like the city anyway, so I'm a country girl, so I like to be out in nature and... Yeah. Actually, don't you think it reminds you of Australia a little bit? Look at our roof, we have a tin roof. Well, you've got a tin roof, I can't see the beach though. But, you can't yeah. see the beach, but we get mountains, don't we? we get lots you've of got mountains. mountains. Hi Reeves, can you say hi Richard? Did Hello. you say hi? <laughs> What's your message to the folks at home looking at you and thinking, oh my God. Uh, my message is I'm doing great. Thank you all for your prayers and your good wishes. And I'm doing fantastically and thank you. Come on. Thank you, here we go. Ravesky, you ready? Go, go! <laughs> <laughs> nice. What a beautiful nice. property. Yes. Yes. The dogs and the horses and the Nature. wine and just, mm. you know, just, just surrounded by Love living there with a happy John, and uh, you know she's in a she's in a great place. She really is such an amazing, beautiful person, and, and such a force of nature. Mm. You know, the, we're very much looking forward, of course, to having her back home for her wellness walk and the research run. You can do either depending on your level of fitness and enthusiasm. But she's going to be there in person. Uh, it all happens Sunday, October the sixth, as Olivia said in Melbourne. If you'd like to join in the festivities. All to raise money for cancer research and support programs at the ONJ Centre. Then head to wellnesswalkresearchrun.com.au and sign up. There is no stopping. She's got the Gaia retreat and spa in the hinterland up there in Byron Bay, which is win wins all sorts of awards for the best in the world. Skincare range, that garage sale mm. auction she's having. Amazing. To simplify her life. And, of course, uh, her passion for medical cannabis. She is a busy gal. And the auction, by the way, happens on the 1st and 2nd of November. You head to juliansauctions.com for all those details. They are the people who do that stuff. I thought it was really interesting that she said how it was a revelation for her to be a patient in her own centre. Yeah. And that obviously has well, helped. What are, the, what are the odds? But, but it so helped her, actually, with the fundraising because she knows what services are being delivered firsthand and, and what's required. Mm. It's wonderful. What a difference it's making. Yeah, I had no idea. We did a little piece on, on the, the set of The Excellent Mr Dundee, which is a Paul Hogan movie that is coming out and she really didn't look in great shape that day and, mm. and that was the night that she found herself in her own hospital. She looks great there, looks good this week. She is fantastic. So uh, thank you Olivia for, hi, thank you Olivia <laughs> for, <laughs> for having me at your beautiful home. A lovely home. chat. And yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll look forward to having her back here very soon.